Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Veteran. Mr. Vetter here, coming at you with a tabletop installation. Today's install is going to be on a Law Tactical AR folding stock adapter. Alright, let's jump right in. Gonna take and remove the contents. You get instructions. Uh, if you knew to this, you might either want to have a gunsmith take care of this because everything on this channel is for entertainment purposes only. These are the parts that come in the box. Get the box out the way. You don't need that anymore. Alright. Here's a look at the actual folder. You guys a 360 view. This is a hand adjustment screw. You do not touch the screw at all under any circumstances. This is a screw that you uh, tighten up. Once you get the adapter in there, this is going to hook up to your BCG once you get everything installed. And this is the nut that's going to attach your law tactical folder to your lower receiver. Alright guys, before we can start this install, we have to do a little disassembly. What we need to do is remove this screw and this cover here so we can take this button out. Alright, let's get her done. Don't you loosen it up? Enough. You can take it out my hand. This is under spring tension, so make sure you keep a hold of it. Alright, so we just took that apart. This is what's going to mate up in the rear of your lower receiver. So before you could put the folding stock on, you have to make sure that you have your tape down pin and everything in place. So just gonna get that all set up. Drop your D10 in. Push this up just a tad bit so I could get that D10 to fall. Okay, it fell, so now this will not spin anymore. So I know it's in a proper place. Take my spring, drop it in place. And we're gonna come back to these two here. So now, with all the place, I'm going to drop my law tactical folder assembly in, and we're going to start tightening up this nut here. Get it started. I'm literally doing this over camera so you guys can see. That's why it's like I'm pumping with two left hands here. So all I'm doing is getting snug up. And what you do is you snug this up into the branch bands. Just like that. This is what you want to accomplish. And I'm going to do a functions test by closing it up. Making sure everything is clear. And from here, take and drop these in place. Same way they came out. We're just installing everything in our reverse order. Take and drop the cover in place just like that. And then we're going to get the screw down, screw it in place, stand by. That one just falling out here. Not what I need to happen, but make it work. That's what we do here at the Better Land Channel. Alright, just gonna fold this at a 90 degree so I can get a little torque on it. You don't need a lot. 
and just like that got enough torque so at this point just gonna do a quick function test fold this close push the button make sure everything is clear everything looks good open it up engage the button here open it back up and we're good to go so once you do that functions test what you could do take your wrench I'll leave the I'll put the wrench sizes in the video you just torque up the set screw you don't need to over torque it just torque it up a little bit I'm ready to install my pistol brace you're going to want your castle nut and your end plate in place just take and screw everything in I like to keep this closed when I'm starting this now I'm going to open it now that I have it off start it I'm just going to keep screwing this here and make sure you keep the threads behind the hole there and now from here I'm going to drop my spring in place back that off just a tad bit drop my detent on top of the spring just like that so I'm going to push this down and run my tube right up over it just like that now that's in place so I'm going to take and push my end plate up just like that spin my castle on in place and so that for the sake of speeding this video up I'm going to torque the castle nut I'm going to tighten it up off video but that's it guys that's the installation so from here we're going to drop our spring and our buffer in place so get that wrapped in just like that nice little spikes tactical there I love that spider what we need to do from here is install the, the complete upper just get my takedown pans open here and drop the upper in place Now that we have the upper install, what we're going to do is take and stand by. And take your charging handle. And we're going to push the Law Tactical button in. We're going to get our, I'm just going to call it a plunger. Get this pushed in place, just like that, like you see there where it's all nice and flush get that in place and we could close it up we're good to go and you're all set guys that is how you install a law tactical AR fold and stock adapter hey if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up it really helped the channel and in closing, hey, don't forget to thank your local law enforcement. Don't forget to thank your local first responders. And don't forget to thank your local military personnel, those that are true American heroes. And also, don't forget to stop by VeteranLand.com for all your ammo and other firearms needs. Mr. Better, out. <laughs>